Hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Cabin, and we are playing some more Planet Zoo, and, well, this is gonna be a bit of a weird episode, so, we kinda had some issues with our recording. So, I basically had, like, two, okay, so the last two episodes I recorded, we had issues on both of them. The first one, for whatever reason, the part one of the episode just never recorded, and we were in the process during the episode of actually trying to sell off some of our older bears, um, just so we can make some money, and it was just kinda pissing me off, because because the animal trading can get really weird. And so because of that, uh, I basically put a pause in the episode. And for whatever reason, the whole first part of that episode, I guess I must not have hit record or something because it just doesn't exist. But I have the whole second half of it, which is me talking about like, hey, I got it working. Yay, everything's happy. And then we did a little bit of building. Then the second episode, we ended up building our wolf uh, cage, which we'll talk about here in a minute. We basically spent a whole bunch of time working on that. The game crashed uh, and then we put a pause in it. So I I could reload the episode reload the game and stuff like that and then the whole first part of the episode pre-crash basically somehow got corrupted and I couldn't play it so I have no idea what happened with that one so I had basically two 15 minute second parts of an episode and I thought about trying to like branch them together and do stuff but it just it really 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 didn't make sense so I was like I'm just gonna do a um I'm just gonna kind of sum up what happened over the last couple episodes and so we're just gonna basically teleport ahead in time I hate it I really hate it because that's not what I was doing with this series, um, but maybe it's not the worst thing in the world because now you guys get to see a little more of the game. So, uh, one of the things we ended up doing is we ended up selling our original bears. So, we learned something very important. The bears... By themselves, if we go to Zoopedia and we look at uh, the black bears and we look at which one is it here, they like up to one male, up to one female. The problem is, as soon as you're um, baby bear becomes an adult bear they will start fighting the other adult bear so you can actually see this dude right here this is our original baby you can see he's actually scratched up a little bit he's got this badass scar because him and our original daddy dude uh started fighting with each other and uh so we ended up having to basically get rid of uh both our original dad and our original mom i could have got rid of like our two um son and daughter but i decided since they're younger i'd rather just keep them because i don't know if the value goes down as the uh, bears get older. So um, let's see if I actually sold off Oh, yeah, and we still have two timber wolves, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. No, so it looks like then uh, we ended up selling off both of them, which is good. So we have, uh, yeah, we have actually quite a bit of conservation credits now, so that's good. And then these two guys ended up having two more bears, it looks like. I think it's just two bears. So we, once again, are at four bears. So we got uh, Xiao Ming here, uh, the male. Uh, then we got Hu King. You're actually the female. Never mind. Uh, and then we got our two babies here. We got Cheng and we got uh, Zeng Yang. So cool. Um, also, I don't remember if we figured it out on camera or if it was off camera, but the whole reason we were having issues with our thing actually getting fixed is because it wasn't on a path. So we ended up being able to fit it in and I don't know if you guys actually saw me build any of this I just don't remember what happened so we ended up putting the water thing here and it seems to be working fine so this is actually working out well for us. Uh, and then we have cages and stuff there, but we'll talk about that here in a second then and I don't think we ended up doing this on camera either We ended up getting our uh, 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 Lemmers uh, done so we have two lemmers. They have not produced any babies yet um, But we got this huge thing going for them um, We got up the hill here, and then we got a nice little cave for them down here. I wonder if we could put windows down here Maybe Maybe we could potentially extend the fence downward and let them see in but that might freak them out So I don't know about that. We'll decide later um, We did have some issues with them getting out because uh, the underground tunnel we actually had extend past the fence And so when they would go to sleep, it was like oh no one of your animals is running away And it was like um no, so we got to just keep that in mind here in the future So we got some nice trees. They're both pretty happy with the weather uh, speaking of which we just want to keep it cloudy Yeah as long as it's cloudy, I think everyone's pretty okay. Um, they're enrichment. They just need some food enrichment, but for the most part, they're okay. In all of these dudes, we have been selling off every female, so we just have a bunch of males in so that they can't have babies, because whatever. When they all start dying off, then we'll buy more, but I don't care. So those guys are going to no longer bug me. Um, then what we ended up doing is we ended up going over here and making a giant pen for our wolves. 
Now, wolves kind of have an interesting thing here when we click on the wolves. Uh, they talk about being timber wolves. They like being in a pack of like two to six, I think it is. Uh, two to 12 is their group size, but it's up to one male, up to one female. Originally, I bought one male and two females, and I wasn't 100% sure if the females would get together. I know it says one male, one female. So we ended up dropping actually three females in this pen with the one male. Now, our original mommy, who is you, uh, Benny, right? She has lifetime stats. Yeah, she's the one that had all the puppies, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, she didn't like the fact that we have these other females in here, so they all started fighting. You can actually see she's been in three fights. So we currently have the vet incoming to get both of these guys, and we're basically going to end up just selling these guys. I think I bought them both for like five credits. Actually, here's the funny thing. Because I've done quite a bit of this already a couple times off camera, uh, like trying to sell them and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really weird because I actually had them on the marketplace at one point selling, but then the game bugged and crashed and it came back here. So I'm wondering if I actually made points from selling the animals, but they still exist so I can sell them again. Either way, we're going to end up making a profit off of them, so that should be fine. This is our daddy dude, Noah, over here. He's pretty happy. And then we got six little puppies who are just so cute. Oh, my God, they're so cute. Now, I don't know when these puppies grow up, when they become adults, are they going to instantly no longer get along? Or because they're family, they're going to get along. I don't know. I also don't know how long till they become full-grown pups or adults. Now, we do have a slight issue here, and that's our hard shelter is not big enough. What? Our herd shelter should not be big enough. So one of the things I ended up doing is I ended up expanding this to two tiles wide to make this a huge thing for them to sleep in. Maybe because I just entered the game, it might just not be updated yet. But essentially, you can kind of see we did our underground pathway through here, um, you know, so people can come around, walk through here, and actually see them while they're sleeping, which is really cool. But like I said, I actually doubled this up. And at some point, we'll probably make this a two-way glass or a one-way glass, which I don't think I can do. Um, two alerts, by the way. Is it just that they're fighting? I think it's just that they're fighting. So anyways, we're going to box them, heal them. We'll take care of that, and that should be fine. Then the other thing we did is we ended up uh, building a water uh, 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 transformer and a water station here because we got a bunch of ponds here. We're going to end up building some alligators over here. They're not actually alligators. What are they called? Um, they are the... Uh, not the now monitor. They're actually early on. Oh, yeah, the Gariels or whatever. So they're going to be our little alligators. And this is going to be kind of the alligator pen. And this is going to be kind of the view for people. Um, so this is all going to be part of their cage, which is cool. And then I really wanted to connect this up. And now you might be thinking, Brian, that's a terrible idea. Because your alligators can just swim under here and arrive up there. Or your puppies can swim through there and go there. Except I'm smarter than the freaking game. Let's go. I put a fence there. Let's go. <laughs> so we're doing some creative things where it's like all one area but at the same point we're still blocking it off i did have to raise our fence through here originally this fence just went underground um you can actually see i i had to dig a hole through here to actually get the fence going through here and oh god we trapped ourselves but uh one of the puppies actually got out fairly early on so i had to raise the fence here so the puppies couldn't get out so this should be safe now i don't know about filling in the hole to make it look any better but that is what it is we got a bunch of things here um just to kind of uh, uh so people can watch and play and feed and stuff like that we got our sign there i did know Notice that the uh, the lemur signs, for whatever reason, never show up with anything. Also, it broke. I have no idea. I have no idea who broke it, but I don't know if they put the lemur stats on the game yet because they just don't show up with anything yet. So I think that's pretty much everything. So essentially, you got this pathway over here, and then this pathway comes over here. We're probably going to end up putting food stalls over here, and then this is kind of this whole area. We built ourselves a little shack here. I put the tiger there because I think I was originally going to put Bengal tigers in there. Actually, speaking of that... Let's go ahead and edit that, because, yeah, that was the whole point, I think, is I was going to put Bengal Tigers in there. So let's get rid of you and signs. I mean, there's not a whole lot we have unlocked right now, so it's kind of lazy, some of the stuff we're doing. Um, I actually don't have wolves, do I? All right, whatever. The, the doggies can look at the kitty all day long, so that should be fine. So... Yeah, essentially all we got to do is go ahead and make probably our thing over here. But let's let the game run real quick and let's make sure that we get these guys taken care of. And I also want to make sure... 
Yeah, there we go. Now the hard shelter's having an issue. So you're gonna go box him up. Now you're calling that. Are you actually injured? No, you're not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and box you up. And so now we're good. Now we're good. The problem is, at this point, we've had some issues. Yeah, they're gonna go deliver that uh, uh, that dude back, by the way. So we gotta keep an eye out for that. Oh, and she's also injured. Okay, okay. So we gotta be a little careful here. Let's pause the game. And let's go ahead and... I'm gonna use selected, and I wanna do soil. And let's go ahead and push, probably with a smaller tool, like five. Yeah. We just wanna make this as big as possible right now. I think this is gonna be big enough. Okay, something like that. And then let's go ahead and fill you in. That'll be fine. And then we want to flatten. Now, the last time I did this is when the game crashed on me. Like, I had it nice and finished, and then the game crashed. I just got to get used to saving a little more often, I think, in this game. Because, I mean, it is beta. <laughs> it is beta. So then, what do we need to do? We're going to want to delete this. So, edit barrier. Delete that. Delete that. Ah, oh, shoot. Wrong button. I got to delete both of these because I can't affect this terrain. Effect. Affect this terrain while it's there. So, let's just delete you. Delete you. Delete you. This should be fine. It's close enough. Then let's do flatten to foundation. Get something like that in there. Okay. We gotta unfortunately get back in the tunnel, which can be a little difficult, by the way. <laughs> the game does not like to let you get in the tunnels. It's really hard to get in the tunnels in this game. We're a planet coaster. I don't remember it being an issue. All right, edit barrier. Ugh. Why, why, why? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I want a uh, glass now. Not on you. Undo. Give me glass. There we go. And there we go. And that'll work. Let's move you here. And then let's get our bedding going. So we want to go habitat. We want to go species. We want to go to timber wolf. And then I want the giant extra large bedding. And so this should hopefully be more than enough sleeping area for them. I'm just gonna fill this in. To make it look as decent as possible. Yeah, the only thing is, I want to fix this again. So pull. Probably not like that. Straighten it out a little bit? Uh... <laughs> I don't think I like that. Let's pull it back. Let's pull it back. Let's pull it back to that hole. And then, that's not, that's not the right button. But let's shrink this, and then let's just uh, pull the hole this way. Yeah, that'll work. And then can you just... Arr, no, no. Whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then let's smooth you out. So that you guys kind of have a nice easy pathway in. Definitely lower you just a little bit. And I am going to save really quick because... Like I said, I've done this two or three times at this point. <laughs> so... Okay, we saved twice. Whatever. Let's go ahead and unpause the game. Let's see your guys' view now. So, if we went here, hard shelter, perfect. You don't have enough soil. No, you have too much soil. So, let's give you just a little bit of snow. I'll just give you some short grass. Just a teeny bit. Uh, terrain. Terrain. Soft grass. Short. There we go. Now they're perfectly happy again. Okay, life's good, life's good now. So we just wanna keep an eye on uh, for our new pups, our new um, people coming back. And we're gonna wanna go fix our other thing because we don't want both girls in here. So by the way, these puppies are so freaking cute. Oh my God. So we got a bunch of sprinklers in here. We got some balls, we got some boxes. Are you gonna play? I just wanna keep an eye on the door. Oh, pff, he just knocked it over. He just knocked it over. Yeah, there's one of our females. Okay, which one are you? Hi. 
This is Emma. Emma's gonna get boxed up. Okay, goodbye, Emma. And now we're good to go. So we can go sell those guys off at any point. We could also just sit here and watch our doggies. Hello, puppy. Who's a good puppy? You're a good little puppy. So the reason I picked the puppy, oh, uh, they howl, uh, is because they're fairly cheap. Uh, they were fairly cheap on the marketplace. Like, I just sorted the marketplace on creator points by, like, um, the cheapest, and they were, like, five each. So, I was like, yeah, we'll totally get these. So, I would like to sell both of these. Let's see if the game actually wants to let me sell. Like, yesterday I spent 20 minutes trying to sell these things. It's just... Like, the fact that this isn't updating right now is kind of showing what's so stupid about it. Like, I, I just feel like they have no American servers. And it's just absolutely killing me. Like, this isn't updating. So the only way to actually get that working is probably to uh, go offline and buy it again. Are you my female? Yeah, there's Benu. Okay, so you're good. You're good. All right, well then, while we're waiting for that... Low welfare. What? What? Nutrition? What? Pause. What's happening here? Do I need more keepers? Maybe? Maybe? Am I really concerned? Probably not. Here's the other thing. I think I unlocked some more of this. Okay, we have these all turned on. I think I turned them on last night, though. Yeah, it looks like I turned them all on. Let's just make sure that they're all turned on. You could use some more stuff with our scorpions. Okay. And you could use some more stuff with our frogs. What are our, um, what's our scientists doing right now? You're doing that? Fine. Let's put you here on the frog. And then mechanic research? I still have no idea what any of this does. I mean, I'm on blueprint level two now. What does that mean? I have no idea. Maybe it's unlocking stuff? I guess. I literally have no idea if it's supposed to be unlocking stuff or what. All right, whatever. I think my frogs are going to be fine. So this is then going to be our alligator places. We want to give them rocks, I've heard, because they will um, kind of like live on the rocks and it's kind of cool. Um, I definitely think I want to go wood through here, though. But the wood wouldn't work so much with the brick, would it? Can I just do a new barrier? Yeah. Now, I can't go... Because we want this curved. Where's all my settings, by the way? There we go. I want you curved. So let's kind of do something more like this. Kind of want you to curve up a little bit. That'll be fine. Let's not delete... Yeah, let's not delete the most important wall right now so our wolves don't go out and start terrorizing people. I don't know if the wolves actually kill anything. Like I said, we did have the wolf break out, um, but it wasn't hard to get them back in. Ooh, let's actually do this like this then. And we'll probably change some of this to glass. This might be too huge of a enclosure again. Might actually want a little more land here too. Yeah, something like that will be fine. I like this. Still low welfare. Hi. Is my keeper actually coming? Yeah, he's going to feed it right now. They're gonna die, buddy. They're gonna die, buddy. And this is all gonna be your fault, man. This is all gonna be your fault. Hurry up and feed those frogs, man. They're down to 10% HP. Come on. There you go. Sweet, sweet. So we're good there. Now the problem is, I can't actually get any of these freaking alligators because the animal trading just seems to be broke right now. So we might have to put a quick pause in. Because I'm gonna have to restart the game. Ah, <sighs> betas, betas, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna freaking do? Let's double check our animals real quick. Well, let's make sure everything's okay here. So we have, uh, should be six puppies. One, two, three, four. Five, six, we have seven puppies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and then two chicks and two adults. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 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 that's right. Um, oh, we got a baby! 
We got a... Oh, no, 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 never mind. I had two females and one male, hoping that they would mate with each other. Uh, that's a no-go, though. Then we got everything popping out here, and we got the bears. One, two, three. Oh, we actually have five bears. No, 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 because we're still selling Chang. Wait. What? We got a third baby. We got a third baby. Okay. So Chang was the name of my original dad? Did they have three? Yeah, I think Chang was the name of the original dad. And so that scared me because I was like, wait a second. I thought I sold Chang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little freak out. So let me put a quick pause in. What are we going to do? We're going to try getting some gators, and then we're also going to work on getting some food going. But we'll be back in one sec. All right, we are back, and apparently one of my uh, one of my wolves was actually been on the marketplace for quite a while. So we'll see. Um, is that one hour? I don't know. I don't know. So we just ended up buying two uh, Gariels. Uh, both were 50 each, which was kind of nice because um, most of them are pretty expensive. So let's go ahead and just move them here. Oh, you know what I need? I need a gate. I can't actually, I can't have anyone in or here yet. So let's go ahead and unpause. Uh, barriers. We do want to put a yeah, gate, something like this, probably. I think that's fine. Let them in. Um, we'll have maybe some glass through here. Uh, we probably want to do another pathway around here at some point. Um, vet research is complete. Sweet. What did we just finish? Uh, the timber wolf. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep knocking out the timber wolf. So what do we get? Uh, some food stuff. That's actually what we could use. So let's pop over here to habitat. Uh, we want to go species, timber wolves, timber wolf, timber wolf, and we want the food one, which was what? So food and water. That's feeding station. Where's the enrichment? So give me the dog bowl, uh, the dog bowl. I'll just throw two of those down because this is pretty big. So I'm thinking that probably takes the enrichment to 100. It does, it does. So they knock it and they get food out of it. So it's like a Kong, essentially. Okay, I like it, I like it. Uh, so we got you in there. We can go ahead and drop then both of our animals in here. Uh, let's go here, uh, yo, uh, Rachita and Anya. <laughs> Anyang. Uh, let's go ahead and move to here. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Having some issues still with some of the clicks. Move. And then, yep, there you go. All right, so they should both get delivered, and then we'll kind of see uh, what we need to do to their environment to kind of make it a little bit better. Um, Timberwolves, like, they got a bunch of trees here, but there is a kind of a wide open area over here, which I think is fine. I think it's fine. What happens if our dudes actually kind of sneak out? I don't know. What happens if we put two animals together in a pit of death and they have to fight to the death? A timber wolf versus a crocodile type thing. Well, let's go. Let's find out. No. Uh, inspector arriving in nine months. That's okay. We also tend to get, um, well, we got fined a couple times for some of these fights because he would show up right as people were fighting. And I'm like, really? Really? You kind of showing up like 10 minutes later. So let's put like two things there. And actually, I'm going to move you. Yo. Because, I mean, right there, you're not really looking at anything. Now, the shed is ugly. Not my best work. We're getting a little better at building some stuff. I actually did not notice this here. Uh, whoopsie. Let's do some advanced moving. Oh, that's the whole thing. Hi, I want to edit you. Duplicate, advanced move, duplicate. Where's the edit? There it is. Edit group. Yo. Uh, let's hit X kind of move you this way uh, and then let's rotate you if I can get the right uh, one I think it's blue something like that and then move you back just a little bit so you're more on the wall good then you're also gonna just come back here and you need to actually take red wait blue Why? why did blue just switch colors so something more like that and that should be fine and that one, whatever. I don't care if it's slightly inside. It's close enough. All right, where's our dudes? Hello! Hello, new buddies! <gasps> Are the females just always that small? You're an adult. Okay. So the females are just really tiny then. Interesting. I wonder... We didn't actually look at what they prefer here in their adult group. Uh, nor their size. So, habitat's fine. 300, we'll take a check on that and see if it's fine. They want one male up to 30. <laughs> 30 
30 females. I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get some more, man. Let's see if we can get some more. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Get all the females rolling around. If they're cheap. If they're cheap. If not, we might just roll with what we have. I don't want to spend a lot of money on the females. Maybe that's why the females are a little cheaper. Can I only do females? Unisex? You're 17. Hell yeah. I should really, like, organize by price. Yo, yo, yo. Adopt. You're kind of terrible. Whatever. Whatever. We're gonna have a bunch of babies. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Thank you. Uh, let's go organize by price. No, uh, I don't wanna- I don't wanna do that. I wanna organize by price. Literally, I'm clicking, just like, I don't know if you hear me clicking, but I'm clicking. And the game just, like, registered stuff. Really late sometimes. Like, where's my click? I don't know. Let's go adopt this one. I think we're gonna be able to make some cash off these guys. Like, I don't know the people selling these for a thousand. That seems a little expensive. Hi, can I get this? Thank you. I think let's just roll with that. Three females, one male seems great. Uh, your animals, sweet. This is what bugs me is the fact that this la lags because it's like, it's one thing when your online stuff lags, it's another when your freaking game is lagging. That's just like dumb. Okay, we're good there. Let's chill that. Let's take a look here. He's hungry, thirsty. I know I haven't done any of that. Terrain's kind of bad. He wants some rocks. He wants some sand. Uh, and he doesn't nearly want as much stuff. That actually makes sense. So let's go here to sand. It's coarse. <laughs> and I hate it. It's coarse and I hate it. Uh, let's go size. But seriously, let's do some coarse sand. So sand is good, then we need some rocks. And they're perfectly happy with this, although... I think we might as well just do the whole thing while we're here. I mean, a little bit of grass isn't terrible. Eh, a little grass isn't terrible. We'll throw down actual rocks though, because we'll make this pretty. Uh, enrichment, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need food and all that stuff too. Social's good, nutrition, yeah, habitat. Plants, temperature's fine, and then enrichment. Okay, I guess let's start by looking in habitat and see what we have for them. G, all. So they do want a shelter. Do they want shelter? Apparently they have hard shelter. I guess this is shelter? I don't know. I don't know how that prey scented snack's gonna do anything for them. Put a small ball here. We'll put a couple sprinklers over here. Get some cooler areas. And then we're gonna put like a water, ah! We want, I wanna rotate you. What, where's my rotate? Z. <laughs> put some like water here. And put some water here. I just like having water spread out, it's just nice. Now. Our water should be cleaner than this, so I'm not quite sure why it's so dirty. And then we're gonna do two food uh, food trays. If we can get it without it looking stupid. Like one here. And like one here. And that's pretty much... And then I guess just some bedding. They can come sleep over there. Okay, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Let's get uh, your terrain popping out. So you're Asia, so nature. We want biome. You're gonna be aquatic. Which is not listed. Okay, okay. Why is aquatic not listed? That's a very good question. That's a very good question. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, are there apparently no rocks through here either? Because I was really hoping to get some rocks. So let's do like some broken trees. They kind of like that. 
kind of like that. Do that, and then let's actually get some really, so these are cherry blossom trees. And so then let's actually do some real cherry blossoms. And oh yeah, they love the cherry blossoms. And yeah, these are freaking pretty too. Yeah, I mean, cherry blossoms are just nice trees. They love it. They love it. They love it. Oh, uh, let's put the medium one here. So yeah, yeah. I mean, who doesn't love cherry blossoms? And then I want something a little more aquatic to kind of sit here on the water. What is this? This is just bamboo, right? Yeah, this is going to be great on walls and stuff like that. So I want something that looks like a very aquatic plant. Something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We should actually X this and then rotate it down just a little bit. So it's a little more in the water. You know, I'm trying to make this as like, just like filling things in just to make it look good. It doesn't really necessarily look right with the, so we probably want to do something like that. Yeah, just so we have a little bit more elevation. Um, that bush is a little too big. What the bracken? The bracken would work. It's not quite big enough, but uh, I still think we kind of use this as a more of a floor. That one just did not work right. Yeah, none of these are quite working right. <laughs> uh, so let's do something more like this with the rotation. It's kind of worried about that. Like that. And then pull you out just a little bit. And then we're going to do the same kind of thing here. And then those guys are kind of floating, so I'm actually okay with that. Uh, that's actually the wrong button. I wanted that button so we could just get another one. Pull you down a little bit. X. Er, er, er. Control, control. Oh yeah, I have to actually select it. That would be helpful. I was like, why aren't you buying? Oh yeah, I have to select. So we're just gonna throw a couple more of those down. What about the cherry blossoms over here? Good question. That's a good question. I think I'm gonna keep these guys like, just to kind of fill things in. Just trying to get as much vegetation here as possible. It's because I want this to feel as realistic as possible. I should rotate some of these plants just so it's not as like similar looking. And then we can do throw some brackens in here. Now, we should make it a little more sporadic around the outside because, you know, the fact that it just stops right around the trees might be a little weird. Like, you know, something along those lines. Spending a little too much money on plants. <laughs> Probably. How's that look? I think it's still too much. Yeah, I kind of think it's still just a little too much. Now, this actually makes sense here. Let's get rid of some of the bigger ones and let's make this maybe a little more sporadic. Because here's the thing, this is in the sun. So we could argue that this would not grow quite as well. I kind of like that one there. Because it's not getting the shade from the trees. Let's grab you. I want to move you just a little bit because I don't like how you look. Do something like that. Uh, here's the other thing that we actually don't have. Some of these guys should be like underwater too. You know, should just be like this. I don't know if these plants actually grow underwater, but it doesn't matter. It is what we say it is. And we're just going to throw some of like these elephant ears, you know, around the place. Just for a little variation. Be nice if they would actually stay on the level. That one didn't work at all. Yeah, I like that. 
Just kind of put that tree here. And... Just do some stuff like that, just to kind of, like, barricade this area. Yeah. Something like that. Just kind of decorating it just a little bit. I don't like that. I don't like that. I need, I need to actually go like this. Yeah. That's better. That's better. And then just some of the random things around here. I think that's pretty good. They should be really happy now. Coverage, almost too much. <laughs> but we're good. They have enough water. They have enough land area. They don't care about climbing areas. So we're good there. They're hangry and they're thirsty. Um, enrichments, we don't have any, so there's nothing we could do about that, and everything else seems perfect. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, the one thing I do want to do, look at them just immediately come here. Let's go ahead and edit some of this barrier, and let's go do some glass here. Let's make this uh, glass. Now, is that a problem? Like, is he gonna bust through the glass? Oh, no, I hope not. Yo. No, I want the post. No, I want the post. Thank you. Make it a glass post. Thank you. Make it a glass post. Thank you. And then we got the ugly freaking door there, too. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make all this glass and be done with it. Probably to, like, right here, because I don't think anything else matters. Yeah, that'll be fine. Because uh, you can't see that anyways. And then over here should be fine as well. So, yeah. Yeah. We did want to give you some rocks, buddy. We want to give you some actual rocks. Are there no Asian rocks? <laughs> Why are there no Asian rocks? Come on. Do something like this. Give you a little bit of rocks. I'm assuming because I was planning stuff, that's what the issue was. Are you mad about that? No, they actually don't care about the rocks. Yeah, they don't care about the rocks. Okay, where'd your female go? Oh, you're on top of them. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Oh, look at them swim. Love it. Love it. So they just need enrichment right now. So, what is happening here? Can't find an accessible route to a research space. What? Huh? My pay is fair. It's not really hard. Yeah, that doesn't seem like something that has been an issue up till this point, so... I have no idea. Water treatment's failing. Oh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. They could they could tone these down just a little bit, man. They could tone the water the, the water stuff failing just a little bit. Um let's stop on the timber wolf. This is you, and I'm gonna put you here on this instead, because I need to get some enrichment there. What did we unlock with Mr. Timber Wolf? Uh tier three. Probably easier to see it here. Zoo, research, timber wolves. We got another toy, it looks like. So let's go. Habitat, let us go species, let us go timber wolf, and what don't we have yet? What's new? Uh, the chew toy. Yeah! Give the doggy a chew toy! Boom. Boom. I like my pets being happy. Sorry, they're not my pets. These are wild animals. They're not cute doggies. They're not cute doggies. They're killer wolves. Oh my god, look at how cute he is. Oh, they're so cute. They have a little bit of differences in each of them. Eh. No, no, no. Get away from the dogs, Brian. Get away from the dogs. Uh, uh, I thought that was a wolf there real quick. I was like, what the hell is a wolf doing in here? Yeah, this water should be clearing. Freaking water crap breaking. 
Well, that's keeping my plants nice and watered, too. Oh, my God. He's just sitting right on it. Yeah, so apparently the ball on their nose is kind of like how they show off for the women. But when you have, like, 30 women in your pen, yeah, you know, probably don't need it. So, all right. Well, let's wrap this episode up here. I think things are looking pretty dang good for us. They're quite crowded. Quite crowded. Do people have good views? Well, we could take a quick look at stuff. Um, oh no, there are new food shops. Yeah, yeah, we're supposed to do that. Remove destination. I've seen bigger and better zoos. It looks like it could do with somewhere to swim. Really? 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 That's your criticism? That? Okay, whatever. Let's see zoo overview. We're two and a half stars. Nice. View inspector's report. Our education's terrible. Habitat one which I think is our bear habitat, is making uh, some stars. Uh, habitat two and three, which would be this one and this one, aren't quite as good. I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why. Oh, hey, it works now. Hey, it's working today. I wonder if it's vandals that are breaking it. I wonder if vandals are breaking it. Um, our tickets are still $3. It didn't save it. We did tickets... Yeah, we bumped this up to like seven and six. I don't want 18. Can I Can I please just type a number in? I don't think 13 is worth it either. Like 10 to... Sure, eight's fine. I was like seven to 10 would be great. Happiness is good. We have 951 guests. That's pretty crazy. Um, our staff happiness is pretty dang good. We don't have any uh, marketing campaigns. I don't think I care. Uh, reputation... Just slowly climbing. We had a little bit of issues. Inspector rating's been going down. Welfare has been rising. That's good. Guest happiness has been eh. Conservation has been good. Education rating has been terrible. Scenery rating's been the same. Because I think we've just been rocking it. How's our money right now? We making money. We making money. We making lots of money. So we could definitely start expanding this pretty large. All right, well, I guess from here on out, we're just going to start going a little bit crazy with some stuff. I mean, we'll definitely get some shops going probably build another bathroom over here i mean we could do a couple shops here on the edge there's nothing else that's gonna happen there maybe this will be like a picnic area that wouldn't be a terrible idea and we just need to throw some benches everywhere too like i mean that's the kind of stuff that we just need to really start filling things in but for now i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did drop a like comment let me know what you think as always hit the subscribe button the game comment share your support i'll see you guys next episode bye everybody